This is Julie Petro and Andrew Murray. They help with the web development and communications for the Earth Observing Laboratory at NCAR in Boulder, Colorado. NCAR is the National Center for Atmospheric Research and we've been around since the 60s and we do research about the atmosphere, pretty much anything having to do with the atmosphere, um, whether it's weather, um, whether it's chemical species that make up the atmosphere, uh, whether it's how different layers of the atmosphere interact with one another, um, basically anything having to do with the atmosphere and CAR covers it in one of its laboratories. I use, um, my, my main tool that I use is my computer. Um, what I do here is I do communications um, for the entire laboratory, so anything from the website to making brochures that our scientists might hand out when they go to conferences or when they have meetings. Um, I write reports that uh, we give to the government who funds our funds this center. Um, basically, anything having to do with communication. So probably, um, you know, probably my computer is the tool that I use. I build and maintain the website for the Earth Observing Laboratory of NCAR. The Machine Shop. My name is Carl. I am the shop supervisor. We're going to go out in the shop here in just a second and I'm going to introduce you to a couple of guys that are machining parts and show you how we do things. This is Walt Hodgson's. He is our lead instrument maker here. He's working on some flight parts that uh, go on a satellite that's being designed and built by LASP at the University of Colorado. So, how is this part made? We start off with a block like this. This is the first operation. Everything is roughed. And then from there we take it to that. And I've got a hole basically plus or minus one on the thickness. One thousandth of an inch. Or something that then likes to bend and warp, so you have to keep moving it around, flipping it around again. But it's not an easy part. When Walt carves this tool, his margin of error is one thousandth of an inch thick. That's about one quarter of the width of a human hair. Just to give you guys an idea what Walt's talking about, about the one thousandth of an inch, if you take a sharpie and you draw a line like that, the thickness of that sharpie mark up and down this way is half of a thousandth. So if you do it again, that's the tolerances that he's working to, is the thickness of that ink on the aluminum, which is about one quarter the thickness of one of your hairs. you can see this tool being carved in a faster time period. How does Julie's job relate to NCAR's machine shop? It's more that we help them do what they do, and we are in charge of the website so that atmospheric researchers who might be interested in doing a particular kind of experiment uh, can know what kind of instruments can be built and what we can do and how we can help them. Julie helps to spread the word about new tools and all the things that NCAR does and offers.
When Malt carves this tool, he makes grooves one thousandth of an inch thick. That's about three quarters of the width of a human hair.